Hello and welcome to the cottage. <laughs> so I am doing um, a video um, responding to numerous comments I have received on my videos regarding my nursery decor and how I dress my babies and um, and that type of thing on uh, you know on a tight budget because I have told you guys um, because I'm always very honest um, that I live in an old farmhouse and um, you know on a farm and every time I turn around um, a fence needs to be fixed. The tractor needs to go in for service. Um, one of the animals is sick and I've got to call the vet out. Um, you know, there's on a farm, there's so many things that can, you know, go wrong and do go wrong. Last week, it was my washing machine. It just decided to um, stop working and I am now in the market for a new washing machine. So, um... You know, it's a quite a different lifestyle than, say, living in an apartment where, you know, you pay your rent and if, you know, your plumbing is not working properly, you call the, um, you know, the head office or, or whoever you pay your rent to um, and they send out, you know, a handyman to repair your plumbing or a plumber or whatever. It's, you know, <laughs> something's always up around here. Um, and yeah, so I have been, you know, asked, how do you manage, um, to, you know, have a, you know, a nicely, um, and these are my, you know, Dolly friends words, not my own, mind you, I am very proud of my nursery and I, I do think it's very pretty. It's, it's, um, you know, I've taken a lot of time to have it all coordinated and, um, yeah, and just, you know, to my taste. Anyway, um, enough of that blathering away. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. Um, look at my little Jack Gordon. He's on the bed in the nursery right now. Um, I usually keep the boppy on the bed um, and, you know, just switch out babies. And right now it is Jack Gordon's turn. Um, to be on the bed in the nursery and if you have not met Jack Gordon um, he is the Jack Sculpt by uh, Tina Cuey my all-time favorite boy sculpt and he was reborn by the amazing uh, Katrina Yusenko in Russia and he was a, a Christmas gift from my husband last year and he is named after my husband and my father-in-law so who is and, you know, with the angels. So, um, he is incredibly special, incredibly special. And interestingly enough, um, I had him done like a portrait baby of my husband. Um, he has the same coloring hair color, um, as my husband did as a, you know, as an infant. So he's super special, you guys. Um, and he's my second Jack sculpt. As you guys know, I have Liam, um, who I'll show you Liam is down here in the bouncy. Liam is uh, what I call my heart baby um, because he, well, he's my oldest reborn. I've had him the longest. He is a forever baby. Um, and he is also the Jack Sculpt and he was reborn by the amazing Canadian artist Pam James. And he is my heart baby, which means whenever there is some type of crisis in my life, um, he's the baby I go to every time, every time something, you know, stressful or, you know, upsetting or sad or, you know, um, he comes, he, he's right along with me. So I, that's why I call him my heart baby because I hold him close to my heart and I know this is TMI, too much information, but when I get cremated someday, he's coming with me. <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about um, doing this hobby beautifully on a budget. And in my case, a shoestring budget. <laughs> because like I said, I, 
you know, I took early retirement and um, so, you know, I'm not working um, any longer. Um, so, yeah, and I'm here at the farm and I, you know, I have to maintain this place on, you know, on my on my pension. So, you know, my husband is still, you know, off working in another part of Canada, but, um, you know, his monies kind of go to our retirement fund. So I need to maintain a, um, you know, maintain the farm on my, on my, um, pension. So grab a drink, cold or hot drink, um, and a comfy chair and let's get into this video. Now, a lot of, uh, the things I'm going to talk about, you probably already know, but there's some things you may not because I have been asked many questions about things in my nursery that I have never gotten around to sharing. So, um, first of all, everything in my nursery is from like half a dozen places. You know, it's not like I'm, you know, traveling far and wide um, purchasing things because I live on an island and it's not a really big island. So I have fairly limited access to shopping. I mean, I obviously have uh, really good access to online shopping. Um, but if you, if you want to dress your babies, um, you know, beautifully, and this is just purely my opinion because I'm not talking about children's salon. I'm not talking about Zara Mini. I'm not talking about Jacardi. Those clothes are beautiful. And I love, love, love to see those clothes um, being put on babies on YouTube. Um, I really love going to Suzanne's babies and watching her, um, her children's salon hauls. Oh my goodness. I mean, those clothes are just absolutely to die for, but they're not in my budget unless I get them at Once Upon a Child. And I do have a nice little collection of Zara mini clothing that I have got at Once Upon a Child, you know, secondhand. So, you know, if you like those um, fancy brands um, and you have a Once Upon a Child, um, keep an eye because those clothes do come in. They're a little more expensive. You know, they're, um, you know, I have a little knit outfit actually for Jack Gordon that is uh, um, Zara mini and it was $7 versus, you know, $2 or $3, but you know, so worth it because I'll have it forever. Um, anyway, so Maybe we'll just kind of go around the room and we'll talk about the things that people have asked me about um, in the comments. Okay, this is a really funny one. I get asked about this bunny all the time. Now, if you are putting together a nursery or, you know, a little nook in your bedroom or a little nook in your living room or, you know, wherever you are going to kind of, you know, have your babies... The first thing I recommend if you're going to decorate that area is choose a theme and choose a color scheme because there's there's a couple of reasons for this. One being if you have a theme, it prevents you from buying everything, <laughs> you know, like Winnie the Pooh and Disney and um you know, just all the, you know, jungle animals. And, you know, if you choose a theme and stick with it, it kind of makes you get disciplined on what you buy. So you don't end up with a whole bunch of stuff. Plus, it, and this is purely my personal opinion, I think it looks nice when you have a, you know, a particular theme and a color scheme. You know, it kind of makes everything, you know, just flow and makes everything more... I don't know, calming than, you know, red and green and pink and blue. And, you know, I mean, if that's your style, that's, you know, you fill your boots. That's, that's great. If, if you're comfortable with that. For me, I like muted tones. Um, and I like a theme. Anyway, this bunny, a lot of people ask me, where did I get this bunny? And I don't buy anything that's not on sale nothing 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 
So I, my, my theme of course is bunnies in my nursery and we all know I'm insane about bunnies. I have been since I got my first bunny at five years old. Um, anyway, I go after Easter is over, I go to Home Sense and Winners and they have all the bunny stuff just slashed, you know, like half price or even better. I got this bunny for like, I think it was $19.99 and then it was in half, it was half of that and then it was marked down even more. So I think I paid about $5 for this bunny. This floral thing that, you know, people seem to really like, I got this on Pat Pat for 99 cents. Um, when Pat Pat had like a big sale, um, I ordered a bunch of headbands and I ordered this to go around this bunny's neck. Um, so, you know, it would just look a little fancier. So this um, piece of nursery decor cost me, what did I say, $7 for the bunny and 90, like $8. And originally just the bunny was 20. So yeah, yes please. I got this pillow at Winners, um, again, on the, you know, after Easter sale um, for, I think it was 50% off. And it was pretty expensive. Like, it was like, I don't know, I want to say it was $30. And I, I, I got it, like, for half price, so like $15. Um, so if you have a theme that, you know, is sort of meets with a season like you know if you're going for like say a gothic theme you know you got to hit the stores after Halloween you know if you are um you know if you're going for a Disney theme then you need to you know look at stores like um you know Winners, Home Sense and you know keep an eye on those items um you know they keep stuff on the shelf for so long then they mark it down I mean that's just how it goes with those stores so if there's a piece that you really like um you know it doesn't seem to be selling um just you know every time you go in like I'll show you a perfect example um of that I'm just gonna go into the wardrobe here just bear with me um I'll show you a perfect example of that I mean it may work out that it sell, sells, at, you know, for the original price and you don't get it. But you know what? You just you just keep keep looking. This bunny costume. Isn't this so sweet? <laughs> Look at this bunny costume. Is that not the sweetest thing? I wanted this not for Halloween, just to have to dress, you know, um, my two Maddies in Isla and Isabel because it's so darn cute. Like I can't even stand how cute this thing is. But it was 25, no, it was 29.99 at Winners before uh before Halloween. And um every time I went to Winners, I'd go and check the, you know, clearance section after Halloween, and sure enough, it got marked down to $12 and I grabbed it. <laughs> And I was so pleased. So, you know, things like that. You know, if you're doing the Disney thing, always check the clearance. When you go to Winners or HomeSense or like I know um, in the U.S. you have Marshalls, um, always check the clearance. Like my my girl um, Marisol, man, oh man, does she ever clean up um, in the clearance section at Marshalls. Like, Wow. Like, you guys in the U.S. have way more access to, um, you know, clearance sections than I do here in my part of Canada, of course. Anyway, okay, I'm going to just pick you up and we're just, I'm just going to walk around the nursery and I'm just going to tell you um, items that I, in my opinion, really scored on. So you guys know I have an absolute obsession with candles and there's two types of candles that I love. One is Yankee candles and the other is Bath and Body Works candles. Um, and I always have a candle going in the nursery. Um, this one is uh, fresh cut roses and oh my goodness gracious you guys, it smells divine. I got it on Amazon after um, after Christmas. They had Yankee candles on for 50% off and 
Yankee candles are crazy expensive, you guys, but they burn for 110 hours. So, you know, even if you pay $20 for one, they're so, they're so worth it. They last so long. But if you have stores that you really like, like Bath and Body Works for me, um, Old Navy, um, Walmart, um, well, Carter's, of course, you guys know I'm a Carter's addict, um, and the Children's Place, make sure you get on their email list so they message you. Like Bath and Body Works just messaged me and said, hey, you know, all our winter and fall candles um, are, you know, marked down to less than 50% off right now. So I put in an order for four of them and they were $11 and they are usually almost $17. So, you know, and I'll use them all spring, of course. Um, now they're the winter scents, but who cares? Like I, I'll smell pine trees all year long. <laughs> I love that scent. So that's a really, really important thing. If you you know, like those stores like Old Navy, I mean, they have crazy sales. And um, yeah, I, I'm on their email list. So when they have like a crazy sale, um, you know, I get an email and I go over on the website, check it out. I mean, that is a really, really good idea to get on their email lists. And most of the stores um, like Pat Pat, um, Old Navy, um, sometimes Carter's, if you, um, put in for being on their mailing list, uh, you get a discount. They give you a discount, like 20, you know, 20, 25% on your next order, which is, you know, that's when you put in a big order when you've got that 25%. And like right now, Carter's has all their winter stuff on 30% um, off. So I'm going to be putting in an order, I think, today um, for a few things because um, they've got their knits for 30% off. And their clearance is currently 60% off. So if you like Carter's, check it out because everything is... is um, 30% off, like even, you know, headbands and baby blankets. And anyway, my, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't know why I always go draw a blank when I, um, <laughs> bassinet for some odd reason. I always draw a blank when I, um, talking about this bassinet. I got this at a thrift store for $15 and it was, it wasn't too bad. Like it was, I mean, clearly it had been used. It had, you know, some spit up and, um, and that type of thing on it. But, um, you know, I brought it home and I got out the fabric shampoo and shampooed the heck out of it. And I mean, it's really cute. It's, it's a nice, um, soft color. You know, I don't like the ones that are like real vibrant colors. Um, it's just a pale, pale beige. So it all, oh, look it, look it. Look at this girl. That's my Alexa Taylor. She's my Claire Taylor silicone baby girl. And oh my goodness gracious, I love her. I just love her so much. So $15. Thrift stores. Not all thrift stores are created equal. Some have junk. Others, oh my goodness gracious. Like if you've got thrift stores in your area, go check them out and, you know, do a mental, <laughs> do a mental, um, list of the ones that you actually find good stuff in. Like I've taken you guys to my thrift stores. I have a video that I was in a thrift store about two weeks ago and I bought this, um, for nursery decor is this gorgeous little basket with bunnies, of course. And uh, I think I paid $5 for it. And it had its original price on it. And it originally was like $20. And I paid 5 for it. It was brand new in box. Never taken out of the box. Um, and I bought this little made in England little bone china log with little roses on it. I, I think I paid, I don't know, about the same. About $5. Um, it's made in England. 
I love I love these. Like I absolutely love these. Every time I go to a thrift store, I look for them. Well, I have videos um on my channel of me thrifting. This is like my newest thing that I just bought. I haven't even decided what I'm gonna do with it. It's like a little bunny basket made out of fabric. Um and I don't know. <laughs> I saw it at Walmart was five dollars and I was like yes please <laughs> you're coming with me so you know it's just going back to that having a theme like you can really discipline yourself if you're the type of person that can get too many things if you have a color scheme and um you know a color scheme and a theme it prevents you from getting nuts and ending up with like way too much stuff like my colors are white, pink, and green. So that really limits me. You know, when I'm out hitting the thrift stores or um, Home Sense or, you know, if it doesn't fit in with my color scheme, then, you know, I'm, I'm not going to bring it home. But, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm a little obsessive when it comes to the matchy-matchy. You guys know that about me. Um, you know, you could probably be a little less rigid than myself. But like I said, you know, it really prevents me from, you know, having to declutter because I don't end up with too much stuff. Like, I'm just going to show you. I've got a few wreaths. Um, I've got this little tiny one above the closet. And then, of course, I've got the euc eucalyptus one. I mean, it's not real eucalyptus. It's silk, you know. Um, I got them both at HomeSense and I got them after Easter, you know, when um, things are, you know, they're marking down kind of the spring decor and um, yeah, so I got a really, really good price for them. Um, this bunny here that is, he's got like a little pot attached to him. I keep my brushes and my, you know, my hair stuff in there. I got him again. I got him for 50% off. I wanted him so bad when I first saw him, but he was like $40. So I waited until after Easter and sure enough, they had a few left and I got him for 50% off. Um, you know, just, yeah, I mean, patience really. Uh, these, I often get asked about my drawer system. I can see one's got clothes hanging out of it. Sorry about that. But um, this, it's, all it is is these three drawer, um, little, you know, Rubbermaid dressers. I got them all at Walmart and I actually was just looking at them the other day and they are, um, they're like $60 Canadian right now, but I got all three of mine at different times, um, on rollback and they were $30 on rollback and they are the bomb because they they're so big and deep like I'll just I'll just show you hopefully I open one that's not a big huge mess like these drawers are big and deep and you know what literally other than the the things that are gifts everything in these drawers I got on sale after season you know like every single thing like I got this little dress at uh whatchamacallit um uh the children's place um you know I got this dress at Carter's this is all you know off season stuff like it's all just everything I have I mean once upon a child or you know off season I just can't even imagine <laughs> I mean, this is me, you guys, but I can't imagine walking into Carter's and I, I rarely go into Carter's because it's, it's quite a distance from me. It's like an hour's drive, but I can't imagine going in, walking up and seeing an outfit hanging on the wall and just saying, yeah, I want that, you know, full price. Like, oh my goodness gracious, except if I won the lottery, if I won the lottery, oh gosh, Lord help me. <laughs> If I won the lottery, I would go to Carter's and I would walk in and I would like fill up a shopping cart, um, literally with, I wouldn't even look at the prices, but anyway, um, probably my most expensive purchase, um, 
in my nursery other than the dolls of course and you guys know I've got some you know fairly expensive dolls um, is these Moses baskets these are probably my most expensive purchase because they were somewhere between 50 and a hundred dollars on Amazon I got I've got four of them um, this one's a little different it's like a fabric um, type thing. It's really cool. It's got handles on it and it's really lightweight. Of course my uh, cabbie gang are all in there right now. Um, but uh, it was $50 and it's it, it's awesome you guys because you can carry you know put a baby in it and carry it and it's really light whereas these ones are you know a lot more um, awkward because they don't you know bend. They're not fabric. Look at the twins. <laughs> I dressed them. I was FaceTiming with um, their Auntie Christy from CJ's Little Ducklings last night. We did a FaceTime visit and just laughed our butts off. And uh, while I was talking to her, I dressed them in these little bunny dresses. Look how sweet. And matching headbands, of course, because they got to be matchy-matchy. Um but yeah, I dressed them in those little dresses. And I got those dresses um, like for about $4 from Walmart on clearance um, last um, winter. Last winter, I think. Because um, they're, you know, spring, summer items. So I got them on clearance and I had them, you know, here at the farm. So um, yeah, and like this... This top and leggings that Isla is wearing, this is Zara Mini. Um, I have no idea what, uh, you know, whoever originally had it. I got it at Once Upon a Child, and it was a little pricey. It was about $7, but I mean, come on. It's so beautiful. It's got sparkles on it, and it's the same blue as her eyes. So, yeah, I had to, I had to have it. <laughs> had to have it. Um, Amazon is another good one, uh, for, you know, being on their, um, their deals of the day. Like I got this, um, this print that I absolutely love. It encompasses like everything in my nursery that I love. Bunnies, green and pink and white. And it was like on that deal of the day, it was like $20 and it was marked down to like half price. And of course, when I saw it, I scooped it up. I check the Amazon deals of the day a lot. Like, you know, getting things on a shoestring budget, it's, you know, it's not, it's not for, you know, people that don't want to invest the time because you have to invest time in getting deals. Like that's just how it is. You got to, but you know, now you can do everything on email and um, this beautiful doll from Bradford Exchange and uh, you know Victorian I call her Victorian mom and daughter I don't have actual names for them but I got them brand new in box at my local thrift store and I love them they're the only porcelain dolls that I have in the nursery and I just love them and I think they both were in separate boxes and um I think I paid about $12 for both of them together and they're brand new in box with the styrofoam and the plastic and oh my gosh I just walked out of that thrift store just clicking my heels I just think they're so beautiful um yeah so that's um here's another really good deal this basket that I keep my all-time favorite blankets in um I got at winners it was in the clearance section um, and I was like, yes, please. I just think it's so beautiful. It's that same, you know, fabric as my, um, my one, uh, basket that the Cabbage Patch dolls are in. And yeah, I just keep, you know, my favorite blankets in it. So like when I just walk around here and I look at things in my nursery, I, you know, I, this basket up here where I keep, you know, my diaper collection, like the diapers that I've gotten in box openings that are all really unique. I got that at the thrift store. It was just a few dollars. Um, let's see. This lamp, which doesn't have a shade on it because it gives me lots of light for my videos. Um, it, uh, I got it, I got it for $2 at a thrift store. 
this frame with Layla in it as a itty bitty little four week old puppy. Oh, I got that at the thrift store for 99 cents and it was brand new in the package. Um, so yeah, like aside from the dolls, of course, these Moses baskets are, you know, my biggest purchase um, in the nursery. Um, because yeah, they're, I paid somewhere between 50 and a hundred dollars for each. And I think they've actually gone up in price on Amazon. Um, but I just love them. You know, I just love them. I don't have room for any more. That's why I keep saying I can't have any more babies because I don't have, you know, room for them. <laughs> I don't have any more space. I mean, I guess I could add more. Oh, this bouncy chair that, um, Liam is in. I got it at a thrift store for like, I don't know, I think it was $2. It's secondhand. Um, you know, brought it home, gave it a really good shampooing, um, you know, with uh, upholstery shampoo and put a nice blanket in it that matches my nursery because it's like a really super loud um, pattern, you know, like most of them are. It's like bright green and turquoise and stuff. Just put a blanket over it. I got this blanket at Winners on clearance. Um, yeah, so, you know, now it blends in. You know, at one point when my collection was really big, I had going all the way. I didn't have these shelving units yet, but I had bouncy chairs going all the way around this room. Because at one point, believe it or not, you guys, I had 30 dolls. Reborns, not silicones, but Reborns and Ashton Drake. I had 30 dolls in total. And yeah, I think about that now and I think, gosh, that must have made me crazy because I have, you know, a quarter of that now. And I feel like, ah, I think I have enough babies. I mean, I still go on Amazon's dot, am, or Reborns.com all the time and look at babies, but, um, that I, you know, I have to tell myself, you've got no money. <laughs> anyway, I really hope that this gives you some ideas. Um, you know, if you're just starting out and um, putting together, you know, a little nook or, you know, or an actual room or, you know, you're going to share your bedroom with your babies and you want to kind of have a, um, you know, matchy matchy type situation, uh, pick a theme pick a theme, pick a color scheme, and, you know, hit those thrift stores and get on mailing lists for um, Old Navy. And, I mean, my diehard um, places that I purchase doll clothes are Old Navy, Carter's, and Children's Place. Um, and then a Once Upon a Child thrift stores, you know, kind of if, uh, um, if I'm able to get out there. But, um, though, you know, off-sale... Um, and you know, if you have a theme that sort of, um, coincides with the seasons, um, then, you know, get in there, like in my case after Easter, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm out there. I'm out there looking for bunny stuff. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far and as always take care. <laughs>